Hey everyone, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for the Daily Room Reading. Uh, today is August the 28th, 2019. It's going fast, y'all. Uh, I just did the uh, daily card reading. It was really good energy that was coming up. Um, it, was it was refreshing. So uh, when you get a chance, go watch that today. I think it will bless you. Um, I was talking about how today's date will break down to a 10, and which is the Wheel of Fortune and the High Arcana. If you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I always take today's date and, and look at the energy and correspond it with the High Arcana um, as well. Um, and this is intended for the next 24 hours, uh, what the Spirit wants us to know as well. So the 28, it's still the High Priestess energy is having to use our intuition cycles of things, coming to understanding of things that have been waxing and waning for us and using our gut instinct, right? It, it's the mother, it's uh, intuition, it's um, also uh, dreams and illusions and hidden things, right? Deception, stuff like that. We have to have our, our, our uh, spiritual eyes open uh, from the inside, you know, listen to that inner voice uh, in secret, you know, just so connecting with the divine uh, so 28 the 8 is the strength card and so having that inner strength uh, no matter what's going on in, in your cycle and just focusing right and having the energy to do it and taking the courage and, and the action to walk forward um, the strength card is uh, attached to you know our heart and so we have to guard our heart because the issues flow out of it the issues of life and there's a lot of stuff that goes on every day right and, but that will break to the 10, which is the will of fortune. That is about truth and spirituality and uh, study and learning and teaching and learning sometimes at the same time. It's justice, it's law, it's luck, it's travel, it's foreign places, foreign people, abundance, and so much stuff today. A lot of nice energy, so it's really up to us. Um, you know, obviously that energy flows differently if you're not standing in your integrity. We have to stand in our integrity. That, and sometimes even standing in your integrity, you have to come across forceful to correct a situation, right? So that's why it's so important that you and I use our intuition. Let's go ahead and just to see what the Spirit wants to bring out for August the 28th, Spirit. Uh, what do you want us to know for the collective? We just bind and block all negative forces. And we ask for truth and wisdom and knowledge and understanding for the viewer and for the collective and for my soul group that uh, has tuned in here today. What is the message for the next 24 hours? Okay, we got one popped up. And I'm reading out the book here. And um, so this looks like an M, but it's got an X here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get in the can. And my hands are just stained, guys. <laughs> complex about it but um but anyway it, it looks like an m but it's got an x in it now this also kind of looks like the hourglass right on the inside of there that there's another rune that it looks like an hourglass as well but this is like it the same thing but it looks like an m it's it's got two lines that are on each side of it so let's take a look and see what this letter is and the energy behind it and um, it is the it is the M it's the Manaz and it is the 20th letter in the runic alphabet which has still the energy of the high priestess that two right so being in, intuitive so it's just you know confirming to us that we need to pay attention to our intuition today and have that strength like I was talking about that that energy is also found in our um, energy today as well and then it's got the zero with the 20 now the 20th card is the judgment card things coming out of the grave right second chances or a reckoning a resurrection of something that's very karmic today uh, very karmic energy so you and I need to be careful you know what that's why we have to use our intuition right uh, that's Pluto energy it's making decisions uh, health improvements rejuvenation uh, change of some type of a position here reaping and sowing with that energy now the two or, or I'm sorry the uh, zero like I always say is the um, it's the largest number of them all but it's nothing at all at the same time and it's also the full 
right? And so it's travel, it's aviation, it's taking a leap of faith, it's uh, a free spirit, it's, um, you know, social because it's Aquarian, it's knowing something, right? It's jumping off of the cliff, it's all, all kinds of energy today. Um, and that zero is, represents a large entity. And so if you're dealing with institutions or government issues or hospitals or mentors or religious figures, anything like that, uh, marriages, organization, banks, stuff like that, all that energy, you got to use your intuition, especially if you're going to sign some contracts and, and that kind of stuff. Just don't get suckered into anything. So this represents man, okay? And... Um, this is influence, idealism, a, a suffered but a certain legal victory. I love that. It also represents a possible betrayal in love. And that can go any way because love is the highest vibration. Now that doesn't mean that it is, uh, you know, that's, that's going to happen. That's why it's important that we use our intuition. And so a possible betrayal in love, you could just, you know, as I make it be on the highway and not be in the love vibration and get road rage. I mean, but a betrayal is somebody who knows somebody. Okay. Uh, like I said, some people are in that lower vibration. I hate to even, you know, say that, but it's the truth. Our world is made. That's the kind of stuff that we're trying to attack. So if you are one of those people and you are be uh, betraying somebody, get out of that real quick. Because that's not good because today is very, very karmic. Every day is karmic, really. Uh, if you are betraying somebody or you're thinking about betraying somebody in some kind of revengeful way, um, that's not going to be good for you. It's just not going to be good for you to, 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 because you're just going to continue. Today's message was uh, the Five of Cups was there right in the center and the guy's sitting there at the table and every cup, that he had taken before was just toppled over, right? And there was one cup sitting in front of him. What are you going to do with that cup this time? You know, come out of that kind of negative energy. Let's not do that to any more, you know, to anyone anymore in this earth realm. Uh, let's turn that energy to being somebody who can, who can be trusted. Don't, be, don't be don't betray. I pay attention on your jobs today with your co-workers. You know, it doesn't have to be a love affair. It could be. Uh, people do that, like I said, all day long, every day. It happens in our world, and this is why we got to get rid of it. we got to address this kind of stuff, even when it's hard. I hate talking about that kind of stuff, but it has to be addressed. Um, especially if you've been somebody who has been there and done that. And, um, you know, that's why we teach from those places. When you go through those kind of hard issues, we don't get bitter in it. We just get better, and then we teach from that to, to rescue somebody else. Because our emotions can get in the way. We had a lot of cups come out. Uh, you know, five cups, that's five cups, right? And uh, at the very end of the uh, reading, you know, here come the eight of cups. But that goes right on into wish fulfillment of the nine of cups. But sometimes our, our emotions can really get in the way. That's why we have to have strength, that inner strength, that inner guidance, that gut uh, instinct to know that what's right and wrong and um, even in the midst of this cycles that you know can, can can be illusional and deceptive and hidden in, in our situations we can do this and uh, have a resurrection so if somebody you know and here's the deal the possible betrayal in love that could be something that was in the past because we were just talking about the 20 is the re uh, resurrection and so if somebody from the past is trying to heal something like that with you and they're being really really sincere you can feel it in your intuition and they're not being deceptive uh, then embrace that and give a person a chance to um, to prove themselves to you because you know you and I nobody is nobody is perfect in this earth nobody <laughs> I don't care who you are and what you've done nobody is perfect in this earth realm and every one of us have uh, you know fallen and done something that we're not proud of and we've either learned the lesson or we didn't and we had to keep going around that <laughs> cycle over and over until we got it but if somebody that had in the past um, betrayed you in some kind of way and they do come towards you and they really are sincere and want to open up then 
you know, I know that's hard. You have to have strength, especially if you were the one that was hurt, or you have to have strength if you were the one that did the hurt. It, it, it takes two to come together and make forgiveness happen. And that's the whole point of what this channel is about, is to bring people together, even in the midst of some type of hard heartaches that you and I may have gone through. It is about restoration. It is about restoring to us joy and learning the lesson and going forward and teaching from that place and healing the land wherever you are, healing your your county, your city, your workplaces, whatever it is for you. Um, there's second chances available for us today. And uh, it's about influence and being the influence. If you all are dealing with uh, legal matters, this says it's it's it was something that was suffered, but it says a certain legal victory. Uh, that is for those who are in their upright. So if you've been standing in your upright and you've been using your integrity, then the Creator said, even though it was a hard battle that you've gone through, I'm going to give you the victory in it. That's beautiful. Now above that spiritual law so people who have been doing dealing with natural legalities but going higher and you know fighting spiritual things in a higher realm the creators you know you were going through testing and the creators bringing that spiritual justice in that's that found within that will of fortune well what is will of fortune's luck it's it's law attached to that so that's beautiful it's as the will's gonna turn for you and you're gonna get victory in it even though you suffered. It's a certain legal victory. So that's beautiful. Uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Go forth today in your strength. Go forth today with your intuition. Even when things uh, may seem a little bit mysterious, just listen to your gut. It will never fail us. Uh, connect with the divine and know that there are good things happening um, for you and I. Till next time. Uh, stay tuned for the... or or go back to my wall later and um, check out the Daily Element reading. Enjoy your day.